Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Space Mike and there are some really cool updates that I want to talk about about SpaceX. For this, your Space Pod for April 28th, 2015. So before we get into the big news, there's been an update on the first stage landing attempt that occurred two weeks ago on April 14th during SpaceX's CRS-6 mission. They attempted to land the first stage on their autonomous drone ship out in the Atlantic, which has been nicknamed Just Read the Instructions. The first stage came in way too fast and had to do some last minute course corrections and just wasn't able to recover, tipped over, and exploded. The cause of this failure has been attributed to the valve that controls the throttle of the engines on the first stage of the Falcon 9. Apparently they weren't able to throttle up the engines enough to slow down the rocket to a nice safe level so that it could descend safely onto that drone ship. Hopefully SpaceX will be able to find out why that valve malfunctioned and fix the problem before their next landing attempt, which is scheduled to occur sometime in June of this year during the Commercial Resupply Services number 7 mission. Now on to the big news. Yesterday SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket carrying a satellite bound for geostationary orbit. Because the satellite is bound for geostationary orbit, this Falcon 9 rocket did not attempt a landing of the first stage, and it didn't even feature landing legs. The reason being is because they needed all of the extra fuel that they would save for a landing attempt in order to get the payload into a geosynchronous transfer orbit. The satellite is called the Turkmen Alem 52E, and it's a communications satellite that will provide services for Turkmenistan. It's also Turkmenistan's first satellite that they have operated, but it was actually built by Thales Alenia Space and is based on the Spacebus 4000 C2 satellite bus. The satellite has 38 Ku band transponders, 12 of which have been leased to Monaco's Space Systems International, who in turn are leasing three of those to Luxembourg's SES, and they're going to be operating those transponders under the name MonacoSat. So this is really like two satellites in one, sort of. The second stage of the Falcon 9 successfully delivered the satellite into a geostationary transfer orbit and the satellite separated from the upper stage. It will use its own propulsion system in order to get into a stable geostationary orbit. So congratulations to SpaceX, the US Air Force, Thales Alenia Space, Turkmenistan, and everyone who was involved in making this launch a success. So what's next for SpaceX? Something freaking Epic. SpaceX and NASA announced that they're going to be attempting their pad abort test of the Dragon 2 capsule with its Super Draco thrusters on May 5th. And I'm excited for it. This test has been a long time coming and if they can successfully do this, they will be one step closer to being certified to have a crewed Dragon capsule. I really hope that they're able to do that pad abort test on May 5th because it would just so happen to be the 54th anniversary of Alan Shepard's suborbital flight on his Freedom 7 Mercury capsule that flew on a Redstone rocket. So that would be really cool if they're able to do that. After the pad abort test, the next mission for SpaceX is going to be the Commercial Resupply Services number 7 mission. That's scheduled for sometime in June of this year, as I previously mentioned. And something that's going to be cool for that mission is they're going to be taking up a new docking adapter that's going to be used on the crew Dragon capsules as well as Boeing CST-100 capsule. So that's a good sign that they're already preparing for those vehicles to be flying and getting the space station ready for it. So congratulations to SpaceX for making all of this awesome progress. Thank you for watching this video and I would love to know what you think about this whole mission and what's coming up for SpaceX. Leave a comment on any of your favorite social media and while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be updated anytime we have a new video. Also, if you're interested in helping us to make these space pods, then please visit patreon.com slash space pod to find out more information about how you can crowdfund this show and become one of the citizens of tomorrow. Thank you again for watching this video. My name is Michael Clark, and my plan for the next time that you guys see me is to continue talking about the history of space planes, unless something more important comes out in the news that we need to talk about. So uh, until the next time, keep looking up, keep exploring to the stars, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.